Oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. Forgot to switch the camera on. Big up everybody that's locked in. Like, subscribe, all of that. We're back here for another live stream. Back for another video. We're not going to be going live for too long because uh, there's just not really a lot to talk about. But yeah, going to delve into Kante. We're going to delve into Mason Mounts, the emergency meeting. We're going to go into you guys' questions as well. And that will probably be it for today. That will probably be it. Just a bit of a slow news day, people. But big up everybody that's in here anyway. We are still staying consistent. We are still providing daily streams. Welcome to the trenches, people. That's what I'm going to call this place now, the trenches, because fuck me, it's a war zone every single day on this channel. But big up everybody that's in here. Like, subscribe, let me know what you guys are saying. Roll through any questions you guys want to discuss. Um, I'll go through all the topics, but I'll go through you man's questions as well. And yeah, big up everybody. Like, subscribe, check out Jerseys FC for your latest and most affordable football kits. Use the code CAREFREELEWISG for 20% off. My shirts just came in today. Um, I got another home kit. One second. They asked me to pull it up on the screen for you guys. So yeah, I got me another home kit this time. Had to get myself a little legend on the back as well, Tiago Silva. And we also went for, what did I go for? I went for an AC Milan kit, just because I really like this season's kit. Had to get um, the greatest French striker in history on the back as well. Big up Oli Giroud. And yeah, if you guys want shirts like this, check out Jerseys FC in the description below. Check them out. There we go. There we go. What's everybody saying? What's everybody saying? Imagine if we give Kante a two or three year deal before he plays a game post injury. And it turns out this injury has ruined him and he's only one third the player he once was. That's why I don't want Chelsea to offer it to complete agreements until he's at least played a few games. But I'm not too fussed because I do believe at the very least Chelsea will incentivize the new contract that will be signing. So it will probably be based on appearances um, where Chelsea finish as a team, his individual goals. And that is fine because that would probably be a much more affordable contract. I'm still not keen on three plus one. Um, I have heard contract length is going to be an issue, is the only remaining issue with N'Golo Kante in his contract. So that might be the stumbling, bo stumbling block, but I could see him re-sign. And I'm not too fussed with it because I do think we need some veterans still in this dressing room. It's way too young, way too inexperienced. I think a player like N'Golo Kante does help that. <laughs> Sure, a lot of you guys would agree with that too. Um, big up Matt. He, he said a lot in here. Big up skills as well. Oh, yeah, no, fuck that. Fuck that. I don't even know why I brought that one up. Oh, dear. The best I can realistically see in the next three games is two L's and a draw. What is it? It's Dortmund, Leeds, and Spurs. Yeah, probably a draw against Leeds or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have confidence against anybody right now. I think we're all in the same boat with that one. Big up Abdi Has, big up Nikoi, big up Steve. Um, who else? Big up Santiago, big up Sam, big up Lee. Whatever is said and happens this week, I just want to win the next match. Don't we all? And by the way, if you're one of, if anyone here is one of those fans that wants us to lose to Tottenham, so Potter gets sacked, you 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 ain't got the right mindset. I'm not gonna say you're a fake fan or anything, but I, I just don't agree with it. Just don't agree with that personally. Is my connection working? I'm only getting two bars on here. What the fuck? Last thing I need is you fucking up with me. There we go. There we go. We're all good. We are all good. Yeah, guys, smash the likes as well, people. Smash the likes as well. Lee Taylor says, rumor has it a new stadium news soon. I haven't heard anything. Apparently, they're just tearing it down one stand at a time and then working from there. But I haven't heard anything about a new stadium. Um, What else? Did Johnny get jumped in the end? No, they ain't even met yet. They'll probably meet at the next home game. You're talking about Johnny and Steve. They'll probably chat after, after um, what was it, Leeds. I don't think they're going to scrap. I don't think they're going to scrap. But they're probably going to have a conversation. Probably going to have a conversation. Um, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Keep needing to double check the connection because my internet's moving a bit dodgy. Can't be arsed. 300 you lot in here, though. Big up. Smash the likes. Let's try and get to 100 likes. 
We got 63 so far. We can do a bit better than that. We can do a little bit better than that. Was Chelsea v Milan your favourite home and away game you went to? Nope, Ajax. Ajax. Nothing beats Ajax, my friend. Um, In terms of home and away, yeah, Ajax then maybe Milan. Maybe Milan. Maybe if I slept a bit more, it, it, Milan would be higher, but I was half asleep throughout that shit. Oh, we got a little super chat. We got a little super chat. Big up Alhambra. Big up my guy. Um, yeah, let me go through to the rest of the comments. Big up Alhambra saying, man, I really want to win this game on Sunday. I can't imagine how bad the atmosphere will be if we lose. It will take someone special to, to turn it around. I think if Potter loses against Spurs, he loses any remain remaining support he has from the match going fans because they were a lot quieter on him than I expected. A lot quieter. If we lose away at Tottenham. If we get battered by Tottenham, they're turning. They're all turning. And at that point, a decision will have to be made. But it won't be made. It won't be made either. Since Potter doesn't know what is your best 11, um, I'm just going to go off the top of my head here. Kepa, James, Silva, Badia Shield, um, the left back's a mid off. Oh god, I don't know. I don't know on the left. I'll I'll say chill well by default, but it really ain't meaning much. Um Enzo. I'm gonna say if everyone's fit, Zakaria. Um actually no, if everyone's fit, Enzo and Kante. Enzo and Kante. And then um, Felix in the middle. Mudrick on the left. Sterling on the right, Abamyang up front. That's my best 11. That's my best 11. When Lewis says he's not going to stay long, you know it's going to be a long stream. It'll be about an hour max. About an hour max. So I'll go through the topics, we'll get you man's questions in, and that'll be about it. Big up Tiernan, big up President Jafar. Yeah, and guys, check out the first episode. Well, the first new episode of the Blue Balls podcast. That's going to be a weekly thing. Um, live at five on Chelsea Fan TV, me, Ben, Harry, and Fatter. So check it out, people. Check it out. Um, Lewis wants Mount on a seven year deal. No, I do not, my friend. No, I do not. Big up HM, big up Ben, um, big up Tidings saying, Do you see what expressions called me? Yeah, bro. Man changed from Ethiopian Carl Banks to Somalian Carl Banks just because he had to refresh it a little bit. Can't be asked, but yeah, game's the game. Big up X. And yeah, Harrison, the troops pod was not fun. It was not fun. Big up to the guys and everything, but I was walking into a cauldron and we got cooked. We got cooked. And we're going to get cooked next week too because we're going to fucking lose to Spurs as well. Thanks, Chelsea. Thanks, Chelsea. Joel, there will be no Olivier Giroud slander on this channel, my friend. No Olivier Giroud slander. That guy is a baller, misunderstood by Arsenal, revived by Chelsea, and the greatest French striker in the history of this planet. You got to hold that, my friend. You got to hold that. Um, yeah, Abdi, I saw this. I, I really hope someone takes videos because I don't believe that more than 10 people are going to turn up to that crap. Sorry, a Potter protest after like four months. I don't back him. But I'm not here for this fucking protest like he's Arsene Wenger and he's been here for 10 years too long. I'm not on that. Sorry. Like, best of luck to whoever's there. But I don't think a lot of people will be there. Can't lie, I think it's just a bit weird in general, personally. But whatever. Um, Modric is doing well. So can Modric change injury prone? Modric change injury prone, my friend. That's the biggest question with N'Golo, not the age. Because like Jorginho, I was calm with him re-signing, but that was partly because of availability. Kante, I just need to see if he can stay fit. Um, where do you see Nkuku playing next season, just behind the new striker? Yeah, I could see him competing with Felix. And then we're going for a number another number nine. Personally, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if Mount leaves. Havertz could leave too. And yeah, that's fine. And Cuckoo and Felix is actually top tier competition. Not Nkuku, Felix, and one of them two. But yeah, yeah, I'm fine with that. 
I'm fine with that. A man said, will they go backstage? That is mad. That is mad. Camera stopping in and out, but mostly fine. Um, is there any other question? All right, cool. No one's saying nothing about that. Um, cool, cool, cool. Oh, you meant for this season only? Yeah, okay. Dortmund. Yeah, Dortmund was clear. Dortmund was clear. Yeah, the one nil with Mishi Batshuayi scoring. Fucking scenes, man. I had about five people fall on top of me in the celebrations. I was limping out of that away end. It was all mad. Big up Flawless saying, big up, up the Chelsea and Potter in. You did really well until the end, my friend. But big up, my friend. Big up. Um, I said L Internet. It's all mad. Um, What do you think about Poch leading the project to replace Potter? I think we'd actually have a discernible brand of football, but Pochettino's another loser. Like, I I'd rather we just bring in a winner. Someone who actually wants to compete for trophies. Like, not someone who's going to say top four is fine and we don't need trophies. Like, some of the waffle that I heard him saying at Spurs. Maybe if he manages to grow some balls, I'd be 100% down for it. Right now, I just think he's better than what we already have. But, yeah. Um, not, not got too much against him. Mudrick versus Emerson Royale. He's going to cook him. That is famous last words, my friend. That is famous last words. Emerson Royale is actually having a good run of form. Did well against City. Did well against West Ham. And Mudrick ain't really balling out. So, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not going to jump to that just yet. I'm not going to jump to that just yet. This is where we are as a football club too, by the way. This is exactly where we are. Man said Blue Bulls, relevant title for our attack. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, FIFA stream. FIFA stream still needs to come. Um, what else? So why is owner once said we need to play 4-4-3? Thinking we need all the extra players we could get. We probably still won't finish anyway. Um, big up. Big up, Richard. Big up, Steed. Lewis Wright says, um, do you want Mason Mount to leave Chelsea? If he, if he ain't going to re-sign, yes. Yes, I would. Because he ain't playing well enough to keep. He don't even want to guarantee his long-term future at Chelsea because contract length is the bigger issue. So I don't see any reason to stay loyal to somebody who don't want to stay loyal to us personally, but we move. We move. Um, Hazel says he wants Steve on the panel as a regular. Whenever Steve's about, I'll send him the link. He's always welcome. He is always welcome. Big lag on the stream, bro. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Really? Okay, well, I, I think it's stopped. I think it's stopped now. But taking the piss. I don't know why, like, it's just been on the blink today. Pissing me off, bruv. This internet used to be so consistent. Oh, that's so Chelsea, actually, the more I think about it. Fucking hell. Um, what else is everybody saying? Hope you're good. I, I want Potter gone. However, who's a good coach we can replace that's happy with a young rebuild? Not too sure. You could look at an Enrique. You could look at Poch. We're apparently looking at that Frankfurt manager, although I don't really know too much about him. There's other options. There's other options. Got to judge Potter next season. I would if I could see anything from Potter. Let me switch the light on. I would if I could see anything from Potter. I don't see anything from him right now. And that's why I've lost faith in him. All he has to do is show me something. Some good game management. Some good um, squads. Some good performances. Dominate a game for 90 minutes. Not drift away from a game like we do nearly all the time. Um, if it weren't for Liverpool, me and the rest of Mickey Mount FC would be the most mudded fan base of all time. Well, he will be there next season. That will be a match made in hell. What do you think the final destination is going to be of Potter if we stick to the process? Um, I don't know about a number of trophies, but it will be about getting Chelsea back to the top of football. That will just be the aim. Trophies will come with that as a result. I don't expect there to be a specific number of trophies, but we'll be aiming to win the league. We'll be aiming to win the Champions League. Yeah, Alex, I saw that. Potter out protest today. Good luck. I don't think a lot of people are going to be there. I, I can't be asked to be there either. But yeah, best of luck to them. Best of luck to them. Um, big up, Big up the newest member as well. 
um how do i pronounce your name is it S- samas some I, I don't know but i appreciate appreciate you joining my friend appreciate you joining uh, what is wrong with this fucking wi-fi today why is it taking a piss why is it taking the piss all right cool we're back we're back Tap boys want to judge us when relegated. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, on N'Golo, let me let me get the N'Golo stuff up quickly, because that's at least something we can discuss. Although I think we're kind of all in agreement with it. I don't mind N'Golo resigning. It's just about the contract, really. It's just about the length. Just about the length. And even then, that's their only. That's the only thing that they're still discussing at this point. There's been an agreement with everything else. Where is it? There we go. There we go. Chelsea are progressing in talks of N'Golo Kante over a new deal. Um, Where's the rest of it? There's optimism to get it done. Still waiting to decide on the length of the contract. Kante's priority has always been to stay because he loves Chelsea. Key factors in the negotiation. And they are just waiting on the final details. I'm sure they'll figure out the length of the contract. But I'm in full agreement um, over re-signing him. I had my reservations over the amount of the contract, but I feel like it's going to be incentivized anyway. So if he's not fit and he's not playing, he's not going to be earning as much. That won't be an issue for us. So, yeah, I'm cool with N'Golo re-signing. We need a veteran in the squad. We need someone of N'Golo Kante's profile in the squad too. Let's just hope he stays fit. Let's hope this surgery is actually going to make a difference with him because I can't lie. If we play him and he's injured in about four or five games... That should be it. That should be it. Sadly, but hopefully it's all good. Hopefully it's a new. Hopefully he comes back and it's like a new signing, because we need that Angolo Kante back. Um, just some Samasi, Samasi. All right, cool. I'll keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. I never like saying people's names wrong. Never like it, because people always used to do that with me, and it would piss me off. Yeah, if he takes a big L against Spuds, the fan base pressure will be unstoppable. Yeah, but they will ignore it. They've even told Potter to ignore it. They've told Potter to ignore all the criticism and to focus on himself. So Potter won't go anywhere. He's not gonna get he's not gonna get sacked. Not gonna get sacked this season at all. Um, if a huge amount turn up for the protests and lose games, it could pull the trigger on Potter. I don't think a lot of people will though. And I still think it's a bit too early for fucking protests. Maybe agree to disagree on all that, but yeah, I'm not really here for that. Not really here for that. Zidane links to Chelsea real. Nope, I don't think Zidane joins us anyway, bro. Um, Modric gives me hope for Kante. He's 37. I'd agree if it weren't for the injuries, but we'll see. We will see. We will see. I hope Agolo comes back and he's completely new. And it's like the same Kante from 1617, where you didn't even have to worry about him. He was always available. Have to see for myself, though. Have to see for. Um, Lewis won't go to a protest, but we'll sit on it moaning Potter out. Potter's not going in spite of the protest. You think they give a shit about some protest? They don't. So, I ain't going to be there wasting my time. I've got better things to do with my day, personally. I've got much better things to do. Um, If you're going, I hope you're going, though. Hope you're going. Uh, Lewis, do you think if Kyrie signs a new deal, he's proper Chelsea, seeing how Mount is rejecting a deal? Yeah. Yeah, he would be. Yeah, he would be. Um, Kind of hope he doesn't, but... Yeah, if he re-signs it, you could give him the proper Chelsea tag all you want. Just want to see him perform consistently. That's the first thing. Um, it's funny people saying Kante is washed, but then saying now Kante will change our fortune. That's why you can't really be in two minds about it. Like, I do think he'll help us, but I need to see if he'll be fit. Right now, it's a case of probably just our only hope. He's our only hope. 
Right now, why did you sell J5 when he was your only fit number six and use Enzo as a six when he's an eight? I don't know. Huh. That's one for Potter to answer. Because Potter's the one that told Jorginho, you're not in my plans, even though he starts him every week. Figure that one out, eh? That makes a lot of sense, don't it? That makes a lot of fucking sense. Um... What else? What else? I don't mind the protest. This means the mentality is still there to win. I don't think that mentality has ever not been there with the fan base. I I've said, like, I'm dropping my standards for this season. It's because I don't back the squad and I don't really rate the manager. But the mentality's always been there to win. It's just you need to have a team that you believe can do it. I don't think we have a team that can do it. But the fan base has always had those standards. I just think like it's, it's I just think it's a waste of time personally. I think it's a waste of time. But I could be proved wrong. There could be a thousand people there. Or something like that. I don't think so. I think there's gonna be like ten personally, but more power to you lot for trying. Um everyone's saying if Spurs and Dortmund do as he's done, he's no, he ain't going. He's not going anywhere. I wish it would be that straightforward, but I don't think two defeats make a difference. I think Chelsea have to be in the relegation zone for Potter to really be sacked. they got to be in the relegation zone. That's the only way I see it. Um, Potter is not Chelsea. Yeah, yeah I, I, I agree with all the stuff on Potter. I agree with all the stuff on Potter, but I just don't think anything's changing. The media's blaming the Queen's death. I'm, I'm not even surprised by that. I'm not even surprised. They'll use anything to try and take the blame away from Potter or Mount or anybody. It's always everybody else's fault. Always everybody else's fault. Um, I said stop beefing Scooby-Doo. What are you on about, bro? What are you on about? Who's your favourite South American Chelsea player? South American? Um, Silva. Yeah, Thiago Silva. That was quick. Didn't they have an... Yeah, I did see this too. I did see this too. They, um, there was an emergency meeting between Christopher Vivell and Graham Potter. I'll put the headline up on the big screen. The article's a bit too big. I do think... I think I saved it though. Um, Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Chelsea have no plans to sack Potter before Sat Sunday's trip to Tottenham. But it was accepted they have a lot to do to turn around a, result, a run of results that have sent their season into a tailspin. Potter and senior first-team staff in the room were united in a bid to resolve the issues at the club, including the low confidence and morale of the squad. And Potter has been told to fight through calls for him to be sacked and has a full week to prepare for what feels like a crucial game against Tottenham. Graham Potter and Chelsea coaching staff spoke on Tuesday to address how their season is unravelling. Talks were called at the club's Cobham training ground after co-owners Todd Bowley and Bedad Barley gave their support to Potter and told senior staff to stick together after a calamitous few weeks. I'm glad they're addressing it. I'm glad they're in talks with it, but... I don't think it changes anything. Maybe there's a bit more pressure on Potter's head, but I don't think it's enough for him to realistically think his job's in danger. So I don't see any big change at all. Like, it's just another meeting, personally. I think it's only really being overhyped because the team had two days off. It is what it is. I, I still think it'll be the same old shit this week anyway. Potter is under pressure and also under no pressure in the same sentence. Figure that one out. He's under pressure from the fans, but from the board, they're just telling him to improve things. And that's all that we realistically want. Just show me some improvement in the team, and then I could get behind what I'm seeing. I don't see anything except excuses and poor decisions. That would be a good start, but... Like, we, if we could win our next two games, and that won't be enough for me to say, all right, cool, I trust in the project again. I need to see something over the next, like, five or six, personally. And then maybe, maybe I could see something in Potter. As of right now, I just think job might be a little bit too big for him. Job might be a little bit too big. 
Foul, yeah, thousand people during peak times. Maybe not. Maybe not. But yeah, I just don't think it's happening anyway. I don't think it's happening anyway. Ibs, you see it. You see, it. it's a washed protest. Plus the guys, plus the guys doing it is a bit of a knob too. But we move. Big up T saying who's going to finish top four. Um, I thought it would say with Newcastle in there. Now I'm not sure. I think the top three stays the same: United, City, Arsenal. I I think maybe Spurs maybe Spurs push it. Maybe Spurs actually push their way into it. I, I yeah, because like Newcastle's fallen off this year. They're not losing, but they're just drawing everywhere. And I also think like top four is a bit more important to Tottenham than it is to Newcastle. If Newcastle finish top six or something, they're still going to be very happy with their season. Tottenham, if they drop out the top four, it's a failure. So there's a bit more importance, and I think. Harry Kane and the likes would be enough to push them through too. But it could be either or. It could be either or. Tottenham don't look that sustainable either. If anything, you could say Newcastle quietly look a bit more consistent. Because they're not really losing games. They're just drawing them. Spurs, it's like win, loss, win, loss. I, I can't tell. I can't tell. It'll be one of the two. It won't be Liverpool though. I've, I've seen some people talk about Liverpool potentially coming back. It's not happening. It's not happening. They're not winning it. They are not winning it. Um, the meeting. Board, you're going to get us relegated, you fucking knob. Potty, that's life. That is life. And, yeah, that, that, that's, that one line is going to follow him his entire Chelsea career. Especially if he doesn't turn it around. It's going to be known as the guy who said, that's life. And, well... That's life, I guess. That's life. Big up CFCJ that says Oba in. Facts. Facts. Need to see Oba in. At least play him this game for once. Um, Lewis, if Potter goes, who do you want leading the talks and scouting of the new manager? The new infrastructure. Because they weren't here when Potter was. So let them decide who they think the, the best man is for the job. Because before it was... Just Bowley and I think one or two um, people in the back. Now there's much more football minds in there. Well, much more well-known football guys in there. So I think that would help us. Um, I said that's life, ball Boy. Boy. I genuinely think we win on Sunday. Three-point lane. <laughs> I wish I could be that confident, my friend. I'm not. I think it's going to be a very, very long afternoon for the Blues. Can already see the, the title from the admin at the end of it. 2-0, full-time. Another disappointing afternoon for the Blues. And a picture of Mason Mount clapping the fans. I can already see it. I can already see it. Big up all 600 you lot in here, though. Even for just a QA, and a you guys are all in, in here. Big up, everybody. Hit the like button, my guys. Hit the like button. Want to try and get to 200 likes, people. Again, I'm not going to be sending the link out because I'm not live for that long. I'm going to be jumping off in about half an hour or so. And yeah, we'll send the link back out for the for tomorrow because there might actually be a bit more worth discussing. As of right now, yeah, bit of a dead day. Bit of a dead day, people. Proud to be a Geordie says Newcastle dropout. Fair enough, mate. Fair enough. I still don't think it will be a bad thing for Newcastle either. It won't be that deep. Top six, I think you guys would all be happy with that. I think you'd all be happy with that. Did Johnny give a response to Stevia? Yeah, he talked about at the start of his stream yesterday. He just said he's going to have a conversation with him and that will be it. I don't think they're going to scrap anyway. I don't think they were going to scrap. I'm not saying neither of them are on it, but I'd be surprised. I'd be surprised if they scrapped. Um, Spurs or Liverpool, let's be real. I don't think Liverpool make it. Liverpool don't look sustainable enough either. They had like a nice little win over Newcastle and everyone's thinking, oh, they're back and all that. I don't think so. I think that team is a whole load of mid. Whole lot of mid. Um, is Ansi Taylor the referee? No, I swear it's, isn't it Steve Atwood or something? It's not Anthony Taylor. It's some. It's a referee that I think we haven't won a game this season with him refing. Even though that's not really an excuse because we're shit anyway. PSG trying to get Tuchel back. I've seen that. Maybe we should try and do that. But 
it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, the Pep era, the Klopp era, the That's Life era. It is long for Potter. It is long for Potter. Guys, drop in any questions you guys have as well, because I'm just going to bounce off you guys for the next 20 minutes or so. So if you guys got anything you want to talk about, anything you want to discuss, just put it in. I'm not going to miss any of you guys' questions. Just put it in. Pause. Pause. Big pause. But yeah, you, you get what I mean. You get what I mean, innit? Lewis, do you think this is how it's going to be with other managers? If we win 2-15, in 15, you think we'll be given leeway like Potter? No, but, well, depends on the contract. Because if Potter was on a three-year deal, I could see them sacking him for this. But he's not. Roman did two three-year deals with managers. And, yeah, if Roman saw this sort of run, boy, he'd be gone. He'd be gone. But Potter, they're going to give him time. They are going to give him time. Where do you see us getting nine points from the remaining fixtures? I mean, I went through our fixture list before. I'll do it again just for, just for the fans. Just for the fans. We'll go through our fixtures for the rest of this season. And let's see where I think we're go we're going to finish or what points we're going to get. Right, so um, where are we? Spurs. I think we lose that one, sadly. Leeds. Um, I think we could draw that, so that's a point. Um, Dortmund uh, is what it is. Leicester. I don't know. Our away record's a bit meaty, too. I think that'll be another draw. Everton. Could be another draw. We've got three points already. We've got three points. Villa. Um, disappointing afternoon for the Blues. Liverpool. Disappointing afternoon for the Blues. Wolves. Another disappointing afternoon for the Blues. Um, Brighton. Again, disappointing afternoon for the Blues. United. United. Brentford. Arsenal. Disappointing evenings for the Blues. Um, Bournemouth. Could get a draw there. Um, Nottingham Forest. Let's say that one's three points. We'll, we'll say seven. Um, City. Disappointing afternoon for the Blues. And Newcastle. Another disappointing afternoon for the Blues. So we're at seven points. We're at seven points out of nine. Let, let's hope 38 is the magic number. Because I don't think 40 will be. I don't think 40 will be. But yeah, a lot of disappointing evenings. A lot of disappointing evenings for the Blues. The only midfielders I want remaining at Chelsea after the season are Carney, Kante, Enzo, Zakaria and Andre. So no Kovacic, no Ruben, no Gallagher. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm fighting with that. Since you go to every game, how much XC do you think Mount has? Mount has um, about four XCs a game. There's one before the game. I'm sure there's like one or two when he's walking up to take to take corners and one at the end. So, yeah, four expected claps per game, people. Four expected claps per game. Um, Harrison said he's got three points. That's all mad. That is all mad. Um, cool. Cool. Uh, right, Super Chats. Big up Aaron saying depressing stat. Real Madrid scored five goals in about 70 minutes. Chelsea have scored five goals since November. Boy. Ah, depression, bro. Depression. Big up DK as well saying Vivelle will be key if we lose the next three. Potter's gone. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we wished it more than it would actually have. Um. Yeah. Yeah, flawless. Lots of disappointing evenings for the Blues. At least United, you'll be there. You'll be there. Just just make sure there's a loud pack for me with my name on it, bro. And we can enjoy that afterwards. Big up Texas Blues saying, yeah, I've, I thought Johnny was actually pretty chill with his response. Like, I think it was a respectful response, to be fair. I hope they talk and they sort their stuff out. And yeah, hope they all move forward with it. Stuart Atwell, that's the referee. And we haven't won a game this season with him. Potter protest or minerals fight? I will be at the minerals fight first over that shit. Big facts. Big facts. 
Um, which social clubs? I'm not sure, but uh, one of my mates sorted that for me when I went Barca. Go to Las Ramblas. That's my. That's the one thing I can say. There's meant to be a couple of legal coffee shops there, and I'm sure they will help you out, my friend. I'm sure they will help you out. Um, Havertz or Lukaku? Death. I choose death. Um, what else is everybody saying? Jody Morris is managed. Hi. <laughs> Lewis, can you believe this club once sacked Ancelotti and we are keeping potty? Finished club. Um, yeah, yeah. That's where we are now. That is where we are. <sighs> Let's hope the next manager's good, though. You guys need more experienced players. Winners, you sold them all. You need them Modric's, Christiansons, and Benzema's in the team. Totally agree, my friend. Totally agree. You sold a fuck ton of winners. There'll be one draw in there, and those bozos will call it progress. <laughs> I couldn't even get. I only picked seven points, by the way, just because Forrest was there, and I deeped. If I didn't say that, we're getting four points. That's the only, like even Forest at home. I ain't really too confident about because that's near the end of the season, and that relegation fight is going to be fucking peak, bruv. So I, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. It could easily be four points. It could easily be four points. Nikoi, I'm trying not to take the piss, but I don't know where our next win comes from. I haven't got a clue, bro. I don't know. Nine points is the key number. Maybe we get nine draws. I, I would just sit everybody behind the ball. I'd take a point a game. And in nine games from now, we can sign out. Remember, people are taking the piss at me for saying 40 points. Now I think we're all on the same wavelength. Harrison says I got three points, Lewis. <laughs> Ah, it's it's all mad. It's all mad. There's another super chat. Let me get to that. Let me get to that. Um, why did Bodhi appoint a new coach before recruiting people like Vivell? He had zero expertise to identify a coach for a team. Infuriating. Yeah, that's but that is Bowley's L. Bowley's gonna have to hold that one. I still have faith in Bowley as an owner. I'm not I'm not on any Bowley out bandwagon. I do have faith in him, but that's also partly because he now has an infrastructure around him to help make those decisions. I think it was a bit naive what he did and also kind of plays, I think it was more of an emotional decision because they just had a bunch of falling outs and it, the results on the pitch made it a lot easier to sack him. But there's mistakes. No one's perfect. People make mistakes. It's not going to change my thoughts on Bowley himself. Um, who's even our corner to take? I, I don't know, but they all suck. Even Jal Felix is crap at corners. The whole game against Southampton, he all he did was hit the first man with them. So, yeah, nobody does it. Nobody beats the first man consistently, be it Chilwell, be it Mount, James, Felix. We need Nkuku in quick because Nkuku is great at corners. He's a dead ball specialist. So, yeah, we need that. We need that because everybody else is just media. 15-16, we had 50 points. Yeah, we're about to outdo that. We're about to outdo even that. Um, when a surfer, surfer and mineral is going to sell the beat? Sadly, I, I don't think that's ever going to happen. But I would be there for that fight. I would be there for that fight. Yeah, flawless, my guy. Love that. Big up everyone in the comments helping Ron too. You guys are also helping me out. If I ever go Barster again, I know where to go. Dragon something, sailor. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that one. That's the one troops went to. Oh, don't tell me the camera's bugging again. Can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. Um... <laughs> Next three matches. Would you play Lukaku next season? Nah, get get Luca Potamus as far away from my club as possible. That brother is washed. He ain't even balling out in Italy, so I can't say, hey, he'd play better with better players around him and not Mountain Habits. Nah, this guy's this guy's washed. This guy's washed. Chelsea. 
That's cool. We're getting three points on Sunday. We're good. I hope so, my friend. I really do. I really do. Um, who do you think wins the Champions League this year? God knows. I might say Madrid again, but I don't know. It could be anybody. It could really be anybody. Could be anyone. Um, Dam hasn't banned Dank. I hope not. <laughs> Andrew will be in front of the Thai restaurant if, if Johnny wants a piece. Can't be asked. Everyone's settling beef. I want to sell somebody. Who are you settling beef with, bro? Who are you settling beef with? Who wins? Surfer or Minerals? I can't lie. I got Surfer still. I think I think Surfer has it. I'll put a fiver on Surfer. And yeah, anyone wants to put a fiver on Johnny, we can go for a bet. We can go for a bet. Um, do you think Giroud could have helped us this season? Yeah, someone who could actually hold the ball up. Because we have Havertz do that up top, and that brother don't win any duels. Aerial or on the floor. I saw a quote from, I think it was Chiellini or Bonucci, saying he has he had sleepless nights before facing Didier Drogba. And meanwhile, I bet when you're dealing with Havertz, everyone's, just, everyone's fucking knocking out 40 winks. Heavy snoring and everything, bruv. You ain't got nothing to worry about with that bum. That's where we've dropped off. Yeah, everyone's saying no to Tim's, no to Lukaku. I'm here, man. I'm here. I completely agree. Completely agree. Um, two out of 16 coming soon. Trust a regress. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Guys, continue to roll through questions. I'm going to go live for about another 10, 15 minutes or so. So anything you might want to go through, let me know. Who do you lot think winning the Champions League? Who do you lot think winning the Champions League? Napoli. Napoli. Yeah, how do I forget about Napoli? They've got a really good chance. I could see Napoli make the semis. Because there's always that dark horse team, like an Ajax or something, or Villarreal last year. Or uh, we were the dark horse team in 2012. Do you all remember that one? I think it was Chelsea, Pep's Barca, Jose's um, fucking Real Madrid squad. And Bayern's, who is it, Jupp Heinks? Yeah, just before they just dominated German football for the next decade. Yeah, and we went and won it. Um, you're going to collab with Expressions again? I, I forgot to message him, to be fair. It was probably a bit too late for it, but I might see what he's about. And I said, bring a step ladder, you prick. <laughs> you prick. Um, what else? What what one goalkeeper and one Chelsea forward do you want Chelsea to get? I mean, if we're saying if we're taking realism completely out of it, get me Oshiman and get me Diogo Costa. Give me Diogo Costa. That'll be my two. Um, please has Kante signed his contract? No, he hasn't signed, but he's close. They just need to agree on personal, not personal terms. They need to agree on contract length, and then he'll be done. Are we talking sober or not mineral? <laughs> Fucking hell. Right, everyone thinks minerals has got it. All right, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. If that fight ever goes down, I'm taking all bets. I'm taking in all bets. Andrew's seen too much wrestling. He's going to take out the steel chair on Johnny. Man said him and fucking Scott are going to do a concerto or some shit. Like Prime Edge and Christian. It's all mad. Um, I said Lukaku remontada. I'm here for it. Well, he needs to lose some weight first, and then maybe we can talk about that. Maybe we could talk about that. I said Bayern, Real Madrid. Eh, Bayern will be there, but I, I don't, I don't know. I don't really see them winning it this year. I don't really see them winning it. Winner of Madrid v Napoli could be the final potentially. Not PSG says logic. Rico says Chelsea. Ha. <laughs> Ah, I wish, I wish. Finding Mount says not City, Napoli, Madrid again. A couple of Napoli shouts. That would be very refreshing if they were to win it. That would be very refreshing. I just don't see it. Don't see it. City will win the UCL. I hate sports. Eh, not really too fast if City win it, to be fair. Actually, no, it means we can't even flex 2021 on them. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that. Um, Leipzig beat Madrid. Werner scored. Fair enough. Didn't didn't Madrid lose to 
Who is that random team they lost to last season? Sheriff, I think it was. Yeah, didn't they lose to Sheriff last season and they still won the whole competition? Hell, Argentina lost to Saudi Arabia in their first game in the World Cup. One-off games don't really mean nothing. Don't really mean nothing. Lewis, do you think we should have kept Werner? Nope. Just because he's better than Havertz doesn't mean he was worth keeping. That brother was still a bum. I saw him complaining yesterday as well about how he wasn't able to get game time over Lukaku despite winning the Champions League. Like, duh, you were shit. You were the reason why we spent 100 mil on Lukaku. If you weren't missing chances for fun, we wouldn't have to buy an out and out number nine to try and make up for the chances that you consistently missed. And you can talk about the Champions League final. If City had scored before we did, everyone's blaming you for missing your big chances in the first 30 minutes. So, yeah, I'm good. I don't need that whinging little bitch here. Fuck that. Fuck that. Like, both Chuckle Brothers should have left if we're being real about it. If we're being really, really real about it. Um, what else is everyone saying? Would you collab with Eunice? I'm, I'm game for that. Me and Eunice have never been on a video. Never been on a video together. Defo got to reload that soon. Um, well, so yeah, guys, hit the likes. Hit the likes, everybody. We've got five, ten more minutes in here, and then we're out. Andrew and Johnny beef back. Nah, not even, not even. People just want to see them scrap. People just want to see them scrap. Samas said, did Alex really fire a gun? Yeah, rest in peace to the squirrel. Rest in peace to the squirrel. You got blown up. It was all mad. Um, Chelsea winning v Spurs. Havertz, minute 28. Felix. What? We're going to score four goals? <laughs> <laughs> I wish, bro. When, uh, when have we even scored two, let alone four? Oh, bad. Um... What else? What else? What else? Yeah, Fata, sorry, my friend. You're going to have to hold that, bruv. You're going to have to hold that. Timo Body Tims. Um, they, they both kind of dropped themselves, to be honest. Both kind of dropped themselves. Diogo Costa is not better than Kepa. I know, but like that's another one where it's for the future. But I think Diogo Costa's got much better distribution. In terms of shot stopping, kind of think they're both at the same. And I think his ceiling's a lot higher. I think his ceiling's a lot higher. Plus, you would want a Kepa type goalkeeper for, well, I say that's for what Potter wants to play. We don't know if Potter's going to be in charge or not. So maybe maybe we do need to revisit that. I'm thinking of Diogo Costa for someone who can play the ball out the back because that's what Potter needs so much in his goalkeepers. But it's not like anything else fucking works. So who cares? Who cares? Lewis Timo is better than Sterling. No, he's not. No, he's not. But whatever. Um, bring back Tuchel and Timo time. Dear. Oh, dear. I said, nah, I miss Timo. Boy, we are in the trenches. <laughs> we are in the trenches, bruv. Um, big up Diego Costa. I wish you were back, my friend. I really wish you were back. Um, Yeah, Henrik, this is where we are, my friend. This is where we are. People want Werner back. It's peak. It is peak. Um, I said, why did Mount Mount didn't block me? Huh? Yeah, Mount didn't block me. Um, you're wrong about Timo. He did a lot for the team. What? Just off the ball running? Cool. You can have have Havertz do that, or anyone with decent work rate and a bit of of a football IQ off the ball. They can do that. I keep saying, talk to me about what you could do on the ball, not off it. Who are top five current Chelsea big game players? Just one game, nothing more. Kante, James, Silva. Um, yeah, that's it. Sorry, I can't get to five. I can't get to five. <laughs> Cannot get to five. Um, yeah, yeah, this is it. This is it, bro. This is it. But I, whatever. Big up George. 
Big up George, my friend, for the donation. Love for the love. I don't know if you meant to comment something. If you did, I'll keep an, an eye out for your comments, but appreciate the donation, my friend. Um, what else? Must said bring back fat Frank. Hey, at least we'd attack better. At least we would attack better. The one thing about Graham Potter is that he's getting some respect back to my G Super Frank. Love it. Big up Super Frank. Proper fucking chels. Proper chels. Um, I said at this point I wanted William and Pedro back. William, I, I would take back with where we are. <laughs> and that shows how far we've dropped. That's far we've dropped. And yeah, yeah, I see you, man. I am not saying Kai. I am not saying Kai. You can have the Champions League final all you want. I'm not hearing that. That brother is one big chance missed the game. I'm good. Drogba? No, he's talking about recent players, isn't he? I think he was. If you're talking about in general, then that question's a lot easier. Yeah, current. It's current players. So yeah, not Drogba. Although if Drogba would like to come back, that would be good. That, that would be good. Chilwell, to be fair, was class in that UCL final. I know, but we're talking about one-off games, and Chilwell's still got to come back mentally from that ACL. He He's not been good this season. Like, a lot of people are saying, oh, I want Chilwell back, I want Chilwell back. Chilwell v. Cucurella, respectfully, is a mid-off right now. Respectfully. And I don't have a lot of energy against Chilwell, because I do think he's going to come back to the Chilwell that we've seen of old. But as of right now, he's not there yet. There's a lot of time that needs to be taken to recover from that ACL. And his performances at the start of the season were not good as a result of that. I think people are just forgetting about it because of how bad Cucurella's been recently. But it's a bit of a mid-off right now. It's a little bit of a mid-off. Did you hear what Timo said? What happened with Tuchel? What, was there more Werner quotes? Was it the one about him leaving because of Lukaku and all that? Uh, yeah, I haven't seen anything other than that. Oh, yeah. Okay, here it is. Might as well have a look here. Um, Timo Werner's blamed Tuchel for his failed Chelsea stint, saying his good moments were quickly forgotten. Had a good, very good first six months at Chelsea, which is what the supports and club expect of me. What is he waffling about? But whatever. A good six months. More like good six weeks. Like, what? What? I, sw I scored the goals and played good games. Brother is deluded. Brother is actually... Werner is actually deluded. When you come from the kind of success I had in Germany or with Chelsea, playing nearly every game in the first season, winning the UCL in 2021, scoring in the semi-final against Real Madrid. Brother, it was from a yard and you couldn't have missed that. Making a lot of goals. Then all of this gets a little bit forgotten by the manager. It was not really fair. That This was also a reason I had to move back to Leipzig to get the enjoyment back again. I didn't feel that anymore, but you need it to be successful. In the end, a manager likes some players more than others. It's completely normal and you have to accept that. Maybe, yes, in the end, I just want it out. This brother is actually deluded. He thinks he had a good season. He actually thinks he had a good season for us. I scored the goals and I've... You had six league goals. You had six league goals. He thought he had a good six months. He thought he had a good six months. Boy, I, ah, I, sh I knew I should have picked up some dank when I was in Germany. That shit must be loud if he's thinking that shit. What have I read? Oh my! Yeah, and you and you don't want to talk about wanting this guy back. Get the fuck out of it, this deluded guy. Ah, <laughs> oh, my head is gone, man. My head is gone. The nerve! The nerve! This guy would have me ripping my hair out every week, and he said he had a good six months. You bum! You absolute bum. People thought I was being rude about him. Are you crazy? Deluded. Big up Lee Runham saying, big ups, Lewis. Name your all-time favourite Chelsea team. Starting 11 minus Czech. Cole, Terry, Silva, James, Kante, Lampard, Ramirez, Hazard, Drogba and William. Favourites, so I can be a little bit biased. Okay, cool. 
check. Um, our right back is sticky, you know. Asby, Asby, Silva. Yeah, sorry, AC's going in. Hold that. Ashley Cole, um, Kante, Lampard, Makaleli, Hazard, Drogba, and Joe Cole. Joe Cole. No, Zola. 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 George says, do you think Jorginho has let go too soon? Yes. He might just help Arsenal win the title. He's already a recognised leader in the dressing room. This is everything I said when he left. Everything I said that he left. And he's balling out for Arsenal. We can't control a midfield. We barely have possession in games. Hey. But yeah, we sold our only fit DM because he's not in our plans, even though we start him every week. Well done, Potter. Genius. Genius. Yeah, it's like all he had was Southampton and vibes. And he's like, I had a good six months. I scored in the Champions League semi-final from a yard. Literally, it, it, it was impossible to miss from that angle. Even you couldn't miss that. And people thought I was harsh on Werner. Don't piss me off. Don't piss me off. Exactly, a man being outscored by Mason Mount. And you want to talk. And you want to talk. What? <sighs> Craziness, man. Craziness. I wish you had a one-on-one -on -one debate with her. What? Yeah, I know who you're talking about. I, I, am, I am more than happy to have a Werner debate after what I just read. I am more than happy. Set the time, set the place. But you'll probably fall out with me by the end of it, Fatter. You'll probably fall out with me. No, Lewis, there's no way you can say Werner is better than Havertz. It's a mid-off. It's a mid-off. Who's, who's actually better? It's a mid-off. It's a mid-off. It's just a mid-off. They're, they're all shit. They're all sh They're both shit. Like, I, I don't know what to tell you, bro. Big up Oliver saying, glad werner has gone. Bad player, no self-awareness. Big facts. He's a fucking dopey guy, man. A man said he had a good six months. A good six months. Ugh. Boy. <laughs> Boy. Um, I said, don't forget Luton. <laughs> I just deep what you meant by that. I just deep what you meant by that. Big up, Alex, my G. Big up. Between Rice, Caicedo and Lavia, who would you prefer? Fucking Lavia. Give me someone who's purely can just sit first and foremost who can do that. Rice and Caicedo, they're more further forward. They're more box to box. Um... He scored one goal and they won. Bro, Jor Jorginho balled out against City too. From all accounts that I hear about that game, he was their best player. So, let me prefer not to speak. I prefer not to speak. Um, you know, as Werner is clear, at least Werner gives us hope. Habits for the physical... Habits and physicality in the same sentence. That brother goes 0 in 12 on duels in games, and you want to talk about physicality? <laughs> boy, 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 boy. Um, yeah. You know what? I'll do a poll. Just to wrap up, I'll do a quick poll. Werner, Werner or Havertz? Let's see who wins this mid off. <sighs> I am very interested to see who wins. We'll do this one and then I'm going to bounce. Poll is live. Poll is live. Lewis, sad thing is there's more to sell than bring in. Yeah, I know, but that's why I'm looking forward to the summer, my friend. I cannot wait. I can't wait. Big up Fatter saying, all hell school of instigation taught by Professor Shades, master's degree alumni. Big up Shades, big up Fatter, my guy. Big up. Werner was a headless chicken. Habits is a tall one. Exactly. There's two shades of mid. Two shades of mid. Lewis, do you think we have feel we have signed more dribblers than clinical finishers? Yeah, because like I, I, I didn't understand why, but then I looked at our take-ons when we signed them. 
our, our dribbling stats are a disgrace. Let me see if I can find it. Right, Sterling was on it was on like a 20% success rate. Havertz was on a 30%, and they were our best dribblers. Let me see if I can find it because it's embarrassing. It is embarrassing. Um, or take on. Yeah, I don't think I can find it. But it wasn't good. It, it, it wasn't good for anyone who wants to know. It really wasn't good. Let me have one quick check. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't find it. But it weren't good. It, it just wasn't good. It wasn't good. Um, people saying they'll pick Werner, they'll pick Havertz. Have a pick. Oh, I should have added none. I should have added none. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. Just don't pick one if you don't want to pick one. Just don't pick one. Check out the account called Hot Days on Twitter. I have seen this guy a couple times. I have seen him a couple times. Why? Is he putting anything big? Is he, is he actually an in the know or is it any, is it anything big? All this nonsense stories about Graham Potter being safe regardless is all PR. He's been told drastic upturn in form is needed or a decision will be made in due course. I hope that's true. I hope that's true. Um, come on, it come on, it's Havertz. Let's be really maybe shit, but he's better. At what? At what though? I, I don't know. Havertz is a 10 and Werner is a nine. He still scored more goals. Yeah, but also Werner created more. So <laughs> they're both not good at what they're meant to be on the pitch to do, isn't it? It's a mid-off. It's a mid-off. It's, it's just that. It's a mid-off. From top to bottom, mid, 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 mid. They're all mid. They're all crap. You can make all the comparisons that you want between the two of them. They both stink. They both just stink. Mid, mid, mid. Um... Havertz is meaty, but if you say Werner is better, then you've got no, no ball knowledge. He's a false. What is the guy in your avi then? Is he a footballer? Because. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Big up Cam saying Potter in. i hold that. i hold that. Um, I, I guess Dortmund would be the end. Of, I don't think he's getting sacked though. I like I I don't think it's PR. I think he's genuinely here till the end of the season. Genuinely think that he is here until the end of the season. Werner is winning. <laughs> Werner's winning the poll. <laughs> it's actually a bit convincingly as well. That's mad. That is mad. Um, would you take Mourinho back at this point? Yes, yes, I would. Lewis, would you rather have Willian or Havertz? I'd rather have Willian. At least Willian can take on a man. Havertz can't even do that. So, yeah, I would rather take Willian. Our attack makes me want to apologise to Willian. And I don't even want to do that because when I had standards, I hated him. So I don't even know. The guys are actually killing me with these questions. It's, it's been a very good q and It's been a great q and I've enjoyed it. <laughs> Do you think current form will affect new signings? Nah, because individually, the only player that I think has looked a bit disappointing is Mudrik. Madueke, he looks good, but he overplays himself a little bit too much. But I do see him beat players 1v1 at least. Um, Enzo individually looks good. I can tell he's just surrounded by shit. It's not his fault. Badia Shield looks fine. Um, what's it called? Southampton game aside, I thought he's been very good for us. Uh, who else? Fafana was great against Southampton. Don't know why he was benched. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think they're gonna go down as a result of it. That's yeesh. But yeah, are you concerned about the amount of extension on a new Kante deal? If it's three years, yes. But I do think it's going to be incentivized too. So I'm not really too worried about it. Not too worried about 
Hot Days is Darko, so pretty reliable. Not no disrespect. I just I, I don't know who Darko is. Like, have I have I missed something? Has has he been right about something in the past? Just I, I don't really know the guy. I don't mean that in a bad way. I just I, I don't know him. I don't know him like that. But yeah. Um, Verna only for the low center of gravity. I, I guess. I guess. Man makes me want to apologize to Sherla. Yo, Sherla, man. He should have been given a bit more time here. He definitely should. Big up Lee saying William was so effective for us. Top player. Mm. He was great at take ons. He was great at take ons and had good work rate. I will leave it there. I will leave it there. Um, how much you spend on Mudrick and you want to talk about? When have I spoken about Anthony? You think I will ever talk about an, an opposition's attack with the state of my club? <laughs> I have self-awareness, my friend. I have never spoken about Anthony in my life. And I never would. Not until we get a competent attack. I will not speak ill on anybody's attack. The funny fact is that AC is actually the same as Havertz. Only one is playing up front and one is playing centre back, but the vibes are pretty. What? What? AC has more consistency in his in his stomach cramps than Havertz has on the pitch. What comparisons are we making? I I don't believe that one. I don't believe that. I think Darko said we met with Lavia days before. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hey, he might have a little something then. I'll keep an eye out. I'll keep an eye out. I've seen his name pop up a couple of times. I've just never knew where the sources were coming from or why people thought he was legit. If you're saying he's got a few things right, cool. Cool. Big up to the guy. Keep doing his thing. Keep doing his thing. Yeah, keep doing your thing. Um... Streets calling Enzo and Zonzi. Yeah, I saw that, man. Slander names are just unreal. They're unreal. Mm. Who's my favourite Chelsea manager? Mourinho. Nothing, nothing beats Jose Mourinho, bro. That guy, man. Real heartbreak was when Jose got sacked. Not when Tuchel got sacked. Tuchel hurt, but I was used to it by then. It didn't really hit me that tough. Say what you want about Havertz. Werner is our worst attacker for two years. Don't forget that. Havertz is our worst attacker for three. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, yeah, no, 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 no. No. But, yeah. Mid-off. But, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. They're both shit. They're both shit. <laughs> Can't compare the pair of them. <coughs> Favorite game this season? AC Milan away. AC Milan away. That's probably been the most confident that I've felt in Chelsea. We had a good clean sheet away at Milan. Aubameyang scored for the third game in a row. I was like, we have a number nine, people. We have a number nine. I low-key thought Mason Mount was turning it around by that point. That was good vibes. That was good vibes. And then, straight down from there. We went to Aston Villa, I think, the game afterwards. We won 2-0 and looked like utter shit the whole game. And we never recovered. Never recovered. Mudrick 007 soon. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Best chant this season. Um, we had a shot when we were 4-0 down against Man City. The we had a shot chance when we finally got our first shot in the 60th minute. Football editage. Right there. Right there. Shut up. Werner helped Chelsea so much. You score a goal. Put me on the pitch. I'll score more than Werner or Havertz would. Fine. I'm not even a professional footballer, but I'm sure I got better finishing than those two bums. I'm sure about that. I've, I've definitely got a better passing range than Havertz. I 100% have a better passing range than him. Work rate? No. They, they can road run all around me for 90 minutes. So I won't be able to keep up. But I'm a better finisher than the pair of them. Might be a better passer. I don't give a fuck about that. Um, what's the best goal you've seen from a Chelsea player? Um, the, the shameless guy in me wants to say Christensen versus Chesterfield. 
but I will say Habits v Arsenal. Ha Hazard v Arsenal. Sorry, I'm... Ugh, standards, standards. Come on, wake up. Wake up, Lewis. Yeah, Hazard against Arsenal. Opposition goal. I don't know. I keep forgetting opposition goals. Um, there's got to be one off the top of my head. I can't. I can't recall opposition ones for the life of me. Um, for some reason, Henderson against us in sixteen seventeen is up there. It's up there. That was a great hit. Um, Sturridge, Sturridge against us too. Hell, Salah against us. There's a there's a lot of Liverpool goals against us that were just unbelievable. Um, not too sure. Yeah, two options on that poll are horrendous. It's shite. I know, bro. It's shite. Yes, Kai. We'll be there. We'll be there no matter what. Be there no matter what. See, say I didn't watch that one live. I went there live for that. Um, hey, big up Chesterfield, man. I got to see AC with the armband. Last goal ever for my football club. Good times. Loopy Lou, I'm going to start doing 1v1 streams too. I'll try to get Matisse on for one of them. Because we we don't stream enough. We don't stream enough. Um, Ericsson. Yeah, Ericsson in the 3-1. Hell, Son even against us in the 3-1. Um, I don't remember any Arsenal ones. Any United goals? The Rashford free kick all them years ago against Caballero. Um, I think that's all I can recall. Tielemans in the FA Cup final. <laughs> that was a banger. Uh, well, to be honest, we had so many bangers conceded that season anyway. Matic against Spurs, that was a good one. Carefree, uh, yeah, I'm a shout Lee Gunner for when we play Arsenal. That That is a link up I've wanted to do. For a while. Lee Gunner is like, he's my favorite streamer if I'm if, if I'm being real. I watch his streams like daily. He's fucking hilarious, man. Lee Gunner, Minerals FC, box office content. Every time. Aguero, yes. And then he ran towards our way and the dickhead. I despised Aguero. Despised him. I went there for Cova v Liverpool. Matic v Spurs was good, though. Um, KDB free kick. Um... Wasn't that in lockdown? Yeah, I swear that was in lockdown. I don't remember him scoring another one against us. As a Spurs fan, the best day in my life was beating Chelsea 3-1 for Stamford Bridge. I was actually there. Yeah, I was next to your fans. I was in the East Stand. So I had to deal with you lot for 90 minutes. And I knew, I, I knew you lot were winning, by the way. In the We Are Tottenham TV preview, I said it was 3-1 Tottenham. I should have bet it. But I'm glad you enjoyed it. Glad you enjoyed it. And yeah, yeah, that is it. That is it. But um, I think I'm a wrap up from here. I think I'm a wrap up from here. These Q and A's are really fun. Really fun. Wait, 2018 KDB. Oh, the one where you ran through our team. Yeah, that was good. That was a good one too. That was a good one too. Carnu, I was not there for Carnu, bro. All right, last question. Thoughts on our quarter situation? They all suck and get get a better set piece coaching. Get a better set piece coaching, but. Yeah, guys, I think I'm going to wrap up from here. I do need to head out. I do need to head out. Um, who are we raiding? Who are we raiding? Um, is there anybody live? Actually, there, yeah, there's fucking nobody live. There's nobody live. I don't know if we will be raiding anyone, but let me have a quick check. Let me have a quick check. Um, yeah, nothing. Nothing. All right, cool. Cool, cool. Close the polls. Who won? Who won? Werner won. Timo Werner won. Shock. Big shock. But yeah, we, we are going to end it there, people. We're going to end it there. Um, big up everybody that's locked in, though. Like, subscribe, all of that jazz. You already know what to do. And yeah. Tell you what, um, I'll leave you with the link for the Q&A. We're going to be live there at midnight. But yeah, just save that live because you'll know what you'll know where to go. I know everyone's saying Matisse. I can't raid Matisse. Matisse, I just can't. I've tried before. I don't think his redirects are on. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't. I can't do it. Doesn't allow me to. But yeah. 
check them out, like, subscribe, and up the Chelsea and all that.